it's hard for me to watch. Uh, guys that know me, I'm an emotional coach. I'm, I'm a crybaby. You know, I'll be yelling one moment and crying the next. But I have great respect for these guys. Unfortunately, we're in a profession. It's about wins and losses. But I've been here so long, Reese. I've been here 21 years. Bright French was one of my captains. And to see him there being able to honor the president, and I've met three presidents, it, I'm just in awe as I sit here because I've coached such great people that are serving our country. And really, for me, it is more than football. So don't get me wrong. I want to win games. But this is – I. I I'm, I'm speechless coaching at this place because it's a unique institution. Coach, have you changed your preparation for this game since you're a huge underdog to Army? I, I don't even know what that means, being an underdog. I never look at the point spread. In this profession, you just push on to the next one. This is my 21st game in this, uh, in this game, my 11th as a head coach. And you always approach the games the same. Yeah. You know, not from an arrogant standpoint. Uh, Lee, you know, we got to look at things and do stuff, but, you know, we've been successful a lot, and we just yeah. try to take some of that stuff in with some of the adjust adjustments that you always do schematically. Yeah. Coach, what's it like standing in front of your team before Army-Navy game when, I mean, you've, you've coached in so many big games in your life, whether it's the Army game or a big bowl game or a big conference game, but every year this has got to be have its own kind of chapter in your in your coaching career. What's it like to stand there today and address your team? Well, just as you were asking that question, I just thought about Bryce French, and I thought about us playing South Carolina and being one of our captains. I thought about us being at the Horseshoe or South Bend. But there's nothing like this game no. because you recognize that after this, that it's over. But you also see these guys that they'll be serving. You think of some of their service assignments, and I think of all the years that I've yelled at them to get their pads down and, you know, get their eyes right. And these guys will be doing things that protect us. And a lot of times I feel like I'm unworthy to you know, I don't mean to you, Roger, but your play in 1963 was the greatest football player I've ever seen play college football. <laughs> I mean, uh, you were sensational. What is it, what is it like to play in this game? It's, uh, it, uh, you know, being here is, I, I'm really nervous because in 62 was my first time, then 63, 64. Yeah. I, uh, I was more nervous before the Army-Navy game than any game I've ever played in. Right. And, and, and coming back and reminiscing, I, I can't believe it's been that long. Oh, yeah. Uh, girl, I can't. But, but it, um, in, in 62, things turned out pretty well. I don't like to talk about it, but, you know, I did run <laughs> for two and threw for two. All <laughs> so, so, yeah. so it was a great game, and I remember walking around the, the streets of Philadelphia with my assumed, well, it was my girlfriend that I married okay. 53 years ago, so we're, so we, uh, so, so, so it, it was the most exciting night of my life yeah. after that Army-Navy game, and uh, it's, when I come back here, I rem reminisce, and uh, yeah. it's, it's, a long time ago, though. Yeah, sure. Since so you've played in several of these games, tell us about the, the preparation leading up to this game and what goes into it. Is it just like an average week or is it something special? It's, it's, it's really something special. And, and, and the coaches are really uh, – we, we had some of our coaches – actually prepared all all year for the army wow. yeah, and yeah. they scouted army uh every week they wow. played. so so it was different it yes. was uh, it was it, when, when i when i got the navy as a plebe i got a, a haircut okay it's almost as short as it is <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they also taught us to say beat army and if if we were oh and nine and we beat Army. It was a successful year. Yes, that's how yes. that's how important the Army Navy game was. Understood. Uh, it, Understood. It, it, it was a, it was a big deal, and it's yeah. uh, exciting here, and it's yeah. fun to be back.